Good morning class. We're going to look at an experiment that I've been trying to do at home. It involves making crystals and solubility. I wanted to try to make rock candy and all I needed for that was some water and some sugar. Roughly twice as much sugar as I needed water. Uh, let's take a look at what you need to do. Take some water and you're going to pour it into your pot and add some of that sugar. As I mix and swirl this around, some of this gets dissolved, but as you can see, it's still cloudy. And by taking any sort of rod or stirring implement, that sugar is still not dissolving. It's still there. It seems that we've reached the limit of sugar's solubility in this water. How can I get all of that sugar to dissolve into all of this water? Well, if you heat up the water, you're going to increase the solubility of the sugar. So I'm going to heat this up and we're going to cut to when it's a little hotter and I've been able to dissolve more sugar. After only about a minute on the burner, you can see that the sugar is already dissolved. So I'm ready to add a little more. And again, you see that the water and the sugar has reached the limit of solubility. This sugar isn't going to dissolve, but it's going to continue heating up and more of the sugar is going to dissolve. When it becomes clear, I'm going to add sugar again. So just before it gets boiling, you can see that all of the crystals have been dissolved and there are no more crystals left. So this is a perfectly clear fluid. I'm going to pour this into an incredibly clean container. And that's something you need to make sure that it is clean, because if you don't, it's going to mess up your experiment. Once you've put your solution into a very clean container, you're going to want to let it cool down. By letting it heat up, you've allowed more sugar to dissolve into the water. And by letting it cool down, you're going to bring the solubility back down. Now there's a very interesting thing, is that if you let something that is saturated when it's hot get cold, that sugar won't immediately pop out. In other words, this makes a solution that we call super saturated. And it'll be very easy to get the sugar out once it's cold down. You only need to do a little thing, sometimes just a little bump or adding something called a seed. To make a seed, you could just take a raw, a little wooden stick or some string or some pipe cleaner, dip it in some water and coat it in sugar and let it dry for 10 to 15 minutes. This is going to create some this is going to create some crystals that the super saturated sugar can latch onto and escape from the dissolved solution. So, I tried this experiment earlier and I completely failed at getting any crystals to grow on my string, to go on my pipe cleaner and to grow on my little wooden rods. I tried all three and I couldn't get it. But as you can see here, I did get a lot of crystal formation on the edges of my jar. This could have been caused by the fact that any of my rods or string or pipe cleaner could have been touching the edges of the jar, which would have made the crystals form around the edge. But I have a lot of sugar crystals forming here. And if you're wondering why does it have that orangey pink color, it's because I added some pink food coloring to make it look neat. The nice thing about making raw candy is that you can eat it <laughs> if it grows on the stick. Um, this is going to be very hard to eat if you get on your thing. Uh, I recommend that you go ahead and try it and see if you can fix it, see if you can do better than me and actually get yourself some raw candy sticks. Let me know how you've done. Have a good day.